Yo, welcome back y'all to Web Slinger, J Channel. Hope y'all are doing good. We're about to get this shit cracking. Man, I hope that y'all have been tuning in to Loki, man. It's getting so freaking good. This last episode was so crazy. <clears throat> we got a good episode coming today. But before we get into it for our brother, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you can get notified and letting you know when your boy's dropping content. Uh, I appreciate all the love from you guys. I really do. Uh, so much content is coming. I'm going to be posting weekly. Uh, try to get two or three videos out a week. Uh, to all my geeks, all my fellow nerds, you know. Uh, like I said, y'all can get in the comments whenever y'all want. You know, uh, we can uh, communicate, talk about uh, everything coming up soon. Uh, but today we got a good one. We're going to get into our Loki episode four review and rating. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the episode and give my thoughts and uh, my rating on it. But uh, yeah, we're about to get into it right now. If y'all ready, ready, let's do it. All right, y'all. So coming in, this is the hot um, key moments. Um, you know, I really, really, really enjoyed this episode. Like. This was my favorite episode so far. Uh, it's just getting more, more emotional, more intense. Uh, we're getting so like the character development was so good and it's paying off. And uh, you know, so at the beginning of the episode, we we get to see uh, a little bit of Sylvie's past. Um, you can, we get to see the TVA taking her in at a young age, uh, literally just a little girl did nothing wrong on the timeline she's literally playing at the moment like what uh, she she's not probably even 10 playing with toys uh little little figures looks like valkyrie possibly in the dragon from thor ragnarok maybe uh in a little ship there anyway but we see renslayer is actually a hunter in this moment she's not the judge in this past moment we see her taking uh, Sylvie in. Sylvie goes through the same kind of trauma as Loki when he first gets to the TVA. Uh, really intense because we get to see him. It's really, it's just so cold, you know, because she's just a little girl. And you can see how, uh, how evil the TVA really is and how Renslayer has been behind a lot of this. Sylvie gets away. She still is a, a, a portal pad. Uh, escapes in that moment um, then later you know we do see Renslayer has been promoted to judge even though she lost a Loki very an important one um, then we get to see uh, Loki and Sylvie again on the apocalyptic lamentous planet from episode three um, they're just waiting for their destiny to be there you know for the apocalypse to you know crush them but something happens something crazy Something wild. Something a little bit weird. But you know what? I think everybody's kind of going for it. And I, he, they're, they're pretty much loving each other. They're loving their self. You know, um, in that moment, they're having a really, really, it is an emotional scene. We see they're, they have no way out. They're, they're, le they're spilling all their emotions, you know, toward each other. Um. They, they, they know that they're both alone, but not in this moment. They found somebody to not be alone. Uh, and they create a, I mean, a critical, complete spiral spike of a branch. Uh, and the TVA notices this. Uh, that's the only way they survive. Uh, the TVA finds them this way. Um, they take them in. You know, they get them. They're, they're, they're hostages now. Or not hostages, but they're captives uh, they've been taken back to the TVA. Uh, Mobius takes regular Loki with him and um, Hunter B-15 takes uh, Sylvie to uh, another private location. We get to see the TVA, um, you know, um, Mobius talks to Loki again. 
um, doesn't really believe anything he says, kind of mad at him for taking off on him, you know. I mean, I mean, I guess he has a point, but I mean, at the same time, this time Loki's really got some real stuff to tell, you know, Mobius, because in the last episode we find out that the truth is the TVA's been a lie the whole time, you know. They, they are actually variants from previous timelines that they've just been captured and, and brainwashed their minds have been mem their memories have been uh you know blankened uh we get to see them talking uh they disagree on some things and mobius literally just uh puts a middle puts loki through this portal which is actually a loop of something loki has experienced in his life which is a really funny scene, man. We get to see Lady Sith is back. She has come back. I think the last time we seen her was in Thor The Dark World. Um, she is reportedly supposed to be in Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, coming up the next Thor title. Uh, but yeah, we get to see this funny loop. Where Loki apparently was with Lady Sith. Uh, I guess they slept with each other or something. And he cut her hair. She woke up to it, and in this loop, in this moment that they sent Loki to, she's mad about it, confronts him, tells him he's always going to be alone. She punches him, knees him in the crotch, and he falls to the ground. And this loop just goes over and over and over. In the meantime, while all this, this craziness is happening, man, we get Mobius talking to Renslayer. You know, he had, he had previously in the, in the episode, you know, asked about um, Hunter C-20, which you know, had been um, enchanted by Sylvie in the previous episode. Well, uh, Hunter C-20 is no longer with us. Um, Renslayer confesses that Hunter C-20 is um, exterminated, but she lies. She does not tell Mobius that she has been pruned or she had anything to do with it. She said that the enchanted powers of Sylvie actually caused her death. Which Mobius is confused in the, you know, earlier in the episode trying to say, like, she was fine, you know, how did this happen? But we do get to see Mobius in the office with Renslayer once again. And uh, Mobius is kind of catching on to things, you know, he's kind of getting some little hints uh, that things aren't right. Um, well, Renslayer is lying again, you know, she's lying about everything. She's, uh, Mobius is catching on, like I said, and, uh, he ends up swapping while she's looking at one of her knives, uh, one of her uh, trophies on her display. She's putting it on there. Mobius switches ten pads, uh, portal ten pads with her, and um, you know dips out. He doesn't want no part of it. You know he tries to act his way out and get out of there because he's you know he's got something's going on. Um, after this, we get Sylvie and a private moment with. Um, Hunter C-15. Um, Hunter C-15 was also affected by the enchanted powers of Sylvie when she touched her, and she knows that something's not right also. She wants to get answers, so she goes to Sylvie. She tries to get answers. So she takes Sylvie back to the Rocks, uh, rocks Cart um, apocalyptic, apocalyptic moment in Alabama, and she gets this really emotional scene in the rain where she asks Sylvie to show her her real past life. She wants to understand if this is real. And Sylvie tells her, yes, you know, you are a variant. And uh, we get this powerful moment of her crying and saying she's happy in that memory, in that moment. And it's really heartfelt. Uh, but she asks uh, Sylvie, what's next? What's the plan? So there is a plan. After that, you know, we get Mobius coming back to get Loki. He wants to know what's going on, you know. So Loki tells him, you know, like, you are a variant, you know, like, he tells him the truth, he really does from his heart, because he genu genuinely cares for Mobius, like, but Mobius still, he has that, that, in the back of his mind that something's not right, you know, about the TVA, about everything, Renslayer line, but he doesn't believe Loki, and he puts him back in the loop, uh, in that moment, Loki in the loop, you know, comes to a moment where he really breaks down to Sith and expresses his feelings about how he is insecure and does things for attention. Um, Mobius finds out on Renslayer's pad next that she actually was the reason for C, uh, Hunter C-20 uh, being pruned. And 
he knows what's really going on. He goes back to find Loki in the loop, tells him, do you really care for this variant? Do you really care for Sylvie? Because if you do, if this is really real, and I am a variant, we can stop this. We can have a plan. You can be whoever you want to be, he tells Loki, even someone good, if no one has told you that yet. And Loki has this really sincere grin that he knows in this moment that they are friends. They walk out of the portal. This was crazy. It hit me like a ton of bricks, man. Renslayer's there outside the portal. Mobius tries to play it off, but Mobius says in his final moment that the one moment he wishes he could be in in all time is to ride a jet ski, just to be with a jet ski and ride a jet ski. And in that moment, he's pruned. And I was so shocked, man. I was, I mean, I was just so, my heart just dropped. I was like, no, Mobius, please, man. That was my dog, Owen Wilson. Uh, we didn't get a wow in the episode, but we got a howl. He did say it. <laughs> but no, I was so heartfelt, man. And you could see the look on Loki's face. He was just so devastated and heartbroken. Even Renslayer had a... Even though she's evil, she had it on her face that she cared for Mobius. And But we find out that Pernan's not exactly Pernan, you know? So... We get... Renslayer, Loki, and Sylvie, Renslayer takes them to the Timekeepers to com be confronted by the Timekeepers. What we find out is it is that Wizard of Oz effect, man. We have Renslayer is teamed up with somebody behind the scenes, like I said. But anyway, we get Sylvie, we get Loki, we get B-15 helping them. That was their plan, Sylvie and B-15. They got the collars off of them in this episode. And it was awesome. We had a good fight scene. We had a good little fight scene between Renslayer and Sylvie. And then Loki getting a couple guards. And, you know, it was a good little scene. It was, it was really dramatic. But then we get to see the moment where Sylvie throws a dagger at the middle timekeeper's head. And it is an android person. Or android Whatever, you know, what we all suspected, it, the TVA is a, a phony, it's a fraud, it's something is really crazy going behind the scenes. Okay, it's Kang. Anyway, spoilers, that's what I'm thinking, y'all. It's Kang, man. Kang and Renslayer. Uh, even if Ren Renslayer is being, you know, threatened. But she cuts the head off of the timekeeper. It is, it rolls to their feet, it is an android, she picks it up. They have a moment again. Loki and Sylvie have a moment again. But in that moment when Loki's about to tell her how he feels truly about her, Renslayer prunes Loki right in the middle of his spine. And it makes my heart drop again. I was like, bro, come on, man. Y'all are hitting the nerds with some ultimate downers right now. And I am just so pissed. Loki is killed in this moment. So we think. But we get to see Sylvie telling Renslayer, I want to know everything. Tell me everything about this. So hopefully in the next episode we're going to see that. Uh, we do have a mid credit scene. I hope that you guys watched it. Uh, but we get to see Loki in a moment waking up. He's not dead. So being pruned is actually being put somewhere else in another timeline, another apocalyptic moment or another realm one of the two battle world or possibly just another timeline to be you know away and uh, can't disturb the timeline anymore but we get to see loki waking up asking if he's in hell the, the the you know the asgardian hell not hell hell but he wakes up to richard e grant's voice the classic loki in the in the credits titled uh to to four Lokis, not just three. We get, you know, we get, um, we get a, a Loki with Nolmir, a worthy lo Loki. We get a kid Loki. We get kid Loki. We get classic Loki, which is Richard E. Grant. And then we have crocodile Loki. Bro, what? Alligator Loki, whatever. That is freaking kick ass, man. Come on. That's so cool. 
And hopefully we have Throg. I hope that we have a Throg a little cameo soon. I uh, really hope for that. I have to give this episode my opinion. This is my rating. 10 out of 10, man. If I'm giving some of the episodes, other episodes 9 out of 10, this one was my favorite one. I've got to give it a 10 out of 10. Even if 5 and 6 are 10 out of 10. This one hits me. It hit me in the heart. It hit me in the action. It hit me in the dramatic scenery. It hit me everywhere, man. I really enjoyed this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Web Slinger J Channel, man. And I got something good for y'all. Um, we're doing a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway. You know, Web Slinger J, J Channel. We're doing a giveaway. This is my first giveaway. The first, if we can get to 50 subscribers, that's all I'm needing. 50 subscribers. Trying to build the nerd and the geek culture here. I'm trying to build us a, sta a stable place where we can just communicate and be friendly. And, but I'm going to I'm gonna have right here the pictures. We're going to do um, a two giveaway. Uh, it's going to be t-shirts. It's going to be a, a short sleeve and a long sleeve. You're going to get two t-shirts. We're going to do a drawing. So when we hit 50 subscribers, it's going to be at, hopefully by the end of the month, maybe. Uh, I think we're at 20 now. Maybe we can get 30 more by then. But if we get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to do two people, a drawing. It's going to be a Loki themed t-shirt. For the Loki for the Loki show, and then we got Black Widow coming up, and it's going to be the Black Widow themed uh, T-shirts. One's going to be long sleeve, one's going to be short sleeve. The winners, you can tell me your sizes, and if you want two short sleeves or you want um, two long sleeves, I'll do that. You know, if that's what you want, or you want to mix and match, or if you want one Loki shirt of the, I'll put them up, you know, right here, the different ones. Uh, you can do one Loki shirt, one Black Widow shirt. You know what I mean? So. I'm trying to, you know, I want I want you guys to, you know, be interactive, be be the nerd geek culture that everybody enjoys, and I enjoy it. I enjoy doing these videos. Uh, I really do, and I just like talking about uh, this type of stuff: Marvel, DC, anything, anime, uh, comedy shows, uh, movies coming up, just whatever, anything for the geek culture, man. But I hope y'all enjoy this episode, Web Slinger J Channel. Hit that subscribe button for a brother. Hit that like button. Like I said, y'all can get have a chance to win in the uh, giveaway for the t-shirt drawing. And uh, like I said, we'll hit you in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. Take it sleazy. I'm out, y'all. Have a good weekend. Have a good 4th of July.